The 1976 Australian Open, played in a scorching Melbourne summer at Kuyong Lawn Tennis Club, saw countryman Mark Edmondson and John Newcomb face each other in the final. Coming into the tournament, Edmondson was ranked 212 in the world, working as a hospital cleaner to fund his dream. While his opponent, defending champion John Newcomb, already had seven Grand Slam titles to his name. Newcomb won a tough first set, 7-6, but underdog Edmondson held his nerve and took the second set, 6-3. We join the action at the beginning of the third set. You shouldn't be allowed to play that shot. <laughs> that looks impossible to me anyway, that shot. Ball. Mm. Out. Out. Two good points. Club 30. Suddenly, in the very first game, after dropping service before, and then seeing the match go, set a go against him at 6 3. Newcomb comes up to serve. He's had a long, good break after the second set, and he's at Love 30 very quickly. Foul. Out. 15.30. Well, Vicky's got Nuke playing his finest, hasn't he? Yes, and uh, <clears throat> I think right now Nuke's struggling a little bit, uh, mentally and physically. He's struggling. Uh, he's been shaken. You can see that. First time he's been in this situation all week, really. Ball. Oh. Gee, he stats that backhand down the line. Very strong in the wrist, Frey, uh, Vic, isn't he? Mm. Good strength there. Beautiful return. <laughs> 30 all. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. It was like cake on the plate, wasn't it? It was a big one. Mm. Correction. Fly let, please. Uh, I don't understand this, Colin. You see, to me, that's not a let. That was a clean ace. Well, Let's have a look at the replay of it. I saw some white come up, uh, and I think Mark saw it too. And it's a bit hard to see in a black and white monitor there. But I don't, I don't understand the call of let, and maybe someone can explain that to me as time goes on. When he's on. beaten completely. Yeah. Mm. He's got the point, though. That's good. Out. Just like... 40-30. Tendency on my part there to throw that point uh, might have been Mark Edmondson. No meaning nothing towards him, except that that's my policy. <laughs> Obviously, I'd lost that point. Oh. Mm. Out. Yes. A vicious top spin backhand across court makes it very hard for the volleyer. It's not an easy ball to volley. It's not like a flat ball. And Newcomb, even though he was there, with a spin, I think, beat him more than anything else. Vicious spin, and it's back to Juice. At Love all in the, in the third set. One set all. Newcomb taking a couple of big gulps of air. Fault. Correction. Play that, please, John. Just as the match was turning for Edmondson, the weather also turned. Hang on, boys. When strong southerly winds blew through Kugel. <laughs> well, John Newcomb, 
lies flat down on his tum tum, <laughs> waiting for the, the the swirl to abate. I'll say this: when it changes, it really changes, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the gusts so fierce, the referee called for a break in play. Because of the weather conditions, play will be suspended for a short while until this blows over. Thank you. It's virtually impossible to play with the things blowing across the court. Thank you. When play resumed, it was once again a tough fight. Edmondson down 4-5. In the third. Oh, it's his 11. 30 low. Oh. You can put the first set 7 6, Edmondson the second 6 3. Mm. 30 15. That error was caused by the wind. It just yeah. came up at the moment he was getting ready to hit that volley, and that's what happens. It destroys the timing a little bit, it makes it very difficult. Took it away to the top of the racket, didn't it? Forty fifteen. Game Edmondson. Five games all. Well, another strong serving game for Mark Edmondson and dead even at five all. There really isn't much in this. Right now, I say that both boys coping as well as possible with the conditions and looking for that break. Ooh. Out. 15 love. <laughs> 30 love. Both players continue very well now with this uh, win, really. It's vicious still. It's coming up again very strongly. <laughs> oh, yes. 30-15. Newcomb leads six games to five. Well, I know he's not here, but uh, very dear old friend Sir Robert Menzies uh, may be looking in at this uh, telecast, and if he is, just want to know, want him to know that an old Yank says hello and wishes him well. Yeah. He often, uh, you know, every year he's been here, but uh, we haven't seen him this year. Fifteen low. Edmondson controlling serve very well with this win, really. It's, uh, it's streaming out. Fall. His spin is enabling him to cope with it very well indeed. <laughs> 40 low. We're going to see some shots, and we already have, I think, that have never been executed before. <laughs> the wind did some strange things with that one. Fall off. Double fall. 40, 15. Out. 
out. Game Edmondson. Six games all. As with the first, the third set would also go to a tiebreak. Tiebreaker will now be played. I can't imagine a more crucial point in this match than the, the tiebreaker in the third set because two sets to one advantage here could be very, very meaningful to whoever gets it. So this is a very crucial part of the match, obviously. Fault. Newcomb leads one point to love. Out. Newcomb leads two points to love. First break for John, giving him a slight edge here. <laughs> Newcomb leads two points to one. Service extremely important now, Vic, in these next two or three points with this wind. Yes, and John, of course, uh, having gotten one of the points on Mark's serve, has a has a slight advantage in his favor here. That was a good serve. Out. Really leaned into that one. Three points to one. Yes. Newcomb leads three points to two. Got a little assist from the wind that time. I think he hit that ball into the direction of the wind and he, with top spin and brought it back down before it could go out of the court. Oh, yes. Newcomb leads four points to two. Newcomb leads four points to three. Did that bring up the chalk? <laughs> I'll tell you that. Twelfth ace to uh, Mark Edmondson. Newcomb's got five. Oh, wait, look at the mm. Good pressure return there. Four points all. How even can a match be? <laughs> Newcomb leads five points to four. Oh, well played. Uh, out. Newcomb leads six points to four. And that could be the biggest miss so far for young Mark Edmondson. Very costly. Mm. Oh, I think he's a fighter, isn't he? Set point still. John Newcomb. Six points all. 
Big break for Mark Edmondson. I thought he was out of that. Great effort for Edmondson. That levels the score at six all. Need two clear points now for the winner of this set. Quiet, please. Edmondson leads seven points to six. And the pendulum very quickly swings over to Mark, Ed Mark Edmondson now, who it's set point in his favor in his serve. But the wind behind him too. Quickly it changes, yes. It's it, I think. Uh -huh. balls with Mark Edmondson to serve. You couldn't see him losing his bowl of new balls, Colin, could you? Only with this win, Michael, he's, you know, it's going to take it away from his throw up so easily. Let's hope that uh, he can control his throw up. I think the wind has abated very slightly, just slightly for the moment. Fifteen lower. <laughs> he thought he had that. Fifteen all. Pulled away from him. Well, there's a case where I think the wind made the difference on that shot. John had a good hit at that ball, but the wind carried it out. It's tough. Game, Edmondson. I don't think you could find a more even match. Both boys, I think, coping quite well with the situation, and uh, they don't like it, but they're making the best of it. Newcomb serving. Ball. Mm. Double ball. where the spin uh, Mark put on that ball got a little assist from the wind. Big game. Oh. Nick's run into a cyclone in more ways than one, hasn't he? Mm. Edmondson leads three games to one. Thirty all. Two points to match. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
hanging in there. 30, 40. Edmondson may have reached it, Vic, but uh, yeah. it would have been a very difficult volley anyway. I think he was sort of hoping it might go out. Yeah. Oh. There's the big one under pressure. Jeez. Mark again gets back to Juice within two points of being able to take out this final. Oh, oh great shot, sir. Moment of truth. Advantage server. Well, match point for this 21 year old. First time winner, Edmondson found himself in unfamiliar territory and had the presentation of the Norman Brooks Challenge Cup to negotiate. With his unexpected victory, the unseated Edmondson became the lowest ranked man to ever win a major. A record that still stands today. He also remains the last Australian male to win the men's singles title on home soil. <laughs>